Let me look at you. It's as ugly as ever, I'm afraid. Not at all. It suits you, Brutus. How long has it been? Five years? No, six. Oh, how clever. It's almost like a proper house. Oh. I deeply regret your loss. Julia and so forth. Uh, a horrible business. Condolences, really. Now tell me, how's your mother? Same as ever. She sends her love, demands to know why you haven't written during months. I can remedy that if you'll be my courier. I have several letters to send. If I can ever bring myself to get another horse. I had no conception that Gore was so far away. Brutus, me old cock. What on earth are you doing here? Oh, Mark Antony, how nice. Uh, I've been visiting my cousin in Narbo. Oh? How is that idiot cousin of yours? Uh, he, he was uh, Actually, age. I'm sorry, I'm a bit of a rush. I need, say, a half talent of gold. Do you? See how he trusts me. For the eagle. Of course. Strabo! Give us honor, Mark Antony, a half talent of gold. A half talent of gold. And not a penny more. Dominus. <laughs> I don't know how you tolerate that, man. He likes to fight. Well, he carries on. One might think he came from no family at all. He does have a Bulgarian streak. I don't mind it. What is this about the eagle? My personal standard was stolen by brigands. Bad business. The legions were already homesick and surly when the eagle was taken. Now they're positively mutinous. Men think it's a sure sign of my doom, and they're clamoring like geese for disbandment. They did not seem so unhappy. Well, they never flaunt their discontent. Gets them whipped. I tell you, Brutus, I'm at my wit's end. <laughs> 